anyway, we're talking about the this one right here that y'all probably hear me wiggling around, which is this one right here. And this is the Love Wellness, the killer. The hey, Miss Lady. My name is Quinn. I am your RN best friend. And on this channel, I share story times, reviews, and information all about feminine wellness on the inside and out. So if those type of things interest you, make sure you click that thumbs up button and you subscribe. Okay, so if you have been on Facebook or I don't know if I saw on Instagram, but definitely Facebook. Facebook, you have seen the advertisements for the Love Wellness brand. Now, it is new to me, and I was like, you know, it sounded like it was very good. It had cute commercials, cute commercials that was definitely, you know, for the woman, all about helping you with things like PMS and energy. It just sounded like it was some good stuff going on there. And then, watching the little cute commercials, I saw that they actually had a product that was right up my alley because y'all know I'm somewhat of a boric acid suppository expert at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and you know, yeah, yeah. Um, I have a whole lot of videos, so if you you don't get the answers you need in this video about the ins and outs of using boric acid suppositories, I can just guarantee you. I'm just gonna. I, I can guarantee you that one of the videos that I have made is going to answer your question. So I will put a link to all the videos I've made down in the description right under here. You just got to tap that little arrow thing and it's going to pull up all the videos and a whole lot of information under there where you can fin find your answer. You can find it, I promise you. <laughs> but anyway, we're talking about the this one right here that y'all probably hear me wiggling around, which is this one right here. And this is the Love Wellness the killer the killer so i actually tried it y'all i tried it and i'm gonna tell you my opinion after using it but um first i'm gonna just kind of show you what it looks like it's it's different you can already see if you've ever used boric acid suppositories before you can see that this love wellness the killer comes in a box it's not in a um thing what's the thing called like a, a bottle okay now the bottles contain, this one contains 30 in it. And I have, y'all, I have several bottles <laughs> of Borg S suppositories. And that's because I have to, you know, test them. I got to be able to come with the facts when I make these videos. So they all actually have 30, but this bad boy comes with only 14. It comes in this little uh, peel punchy thingy like this right here and as you can see i've used two of them um so that was a difference this i think the bottles usually can you can get them anywhere from like 19 to 40 dollars this one right here was 19 dollars but like i said this is 14 pills you get a bottle you typically get 30 pills so now just looking at the packaging it's cute this is it's like my brand codes it's pink you know, it's pink, it's red, it's, it's cute. I like this. Um, it says on the bottle here, boric acid suppositories that build, whoop, that ain't, that ain't what it say, hold on. Boric, boric acid suppositories that balance yeast and odor causing bacteria while supporting the vaginal environment. That sounds good to me. We want that, that vaginal environment to be pH balanced, right? The key ingredient is boric acid. But one thing I do note on here is it does not tell you the, the not the diagnosis, it does not tell you the amount of boric acid that is in each capsule. So again, if you've seen any of my other videos where I've done reviews for specific brands, I talked to you about the importance of having the right milligrams, the amount that's in there has to be spot on for it to really be effective right. This don't tell you either way. <laughs> It doesn't, it just says it has boric acid in it. Now it does say it's one simple ingredient developed by a doctor and that it works fast. Um, okay. But it does not have the, it, it just don't, I, I, it just don't, I looked, I just don't. It just don't tell you how much is in it and that's pretty important you guys, it's pretty important. So how it works, it says yeast and bact bacteria make up your normal vaginal flora supported by an acidic pH. That keeps you healthy. The killer works to maintain your vaginal pH within a normal acidic range, balancing yeast, supporting the vaginal environment. It all sounds good. Do not take orally. Definitely don't want to take it orally. So let me go ahead and tell you about my experience and what I, what you know, other than what's on the box, how I felt about it. 
I use this for two nights prophylactically. I wasn't having any issues going on. But as you know, if you're familiar with work as supply stores, you can use it just as a, a lot of women use it after they cycle um, to just make sure everything stays good. A lot of women use it after sex to make sure everything um, stays good. Because as we know, those things can definitely throw off your pH balance sometimes. So, so the very first night I used it, I inserted it, I used my finger, I didn't have a, um, an applicator or anything like that, which is actually a really good way. I, you don't have to have an applicator. If you don't got an applicator, get to know yourself and you lose your finger. It's perfectly fine. Um, to insert it, and use my finger and went to bed. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I always tell y'all you got to use it at night. Use my finger, went to bed, uh, woke up. I didn't really have any issues. I was actually on the last day of my cycle. So I use a menstrual cup typically. But for this situation, I went ahead and I put a pad on. Because I didn't want to have the cup and then have the, the suppository in there. It's just better, in my opinion, to go ahead and just use a pad or panty liner. So I went ahead and I slept in a panty liner or pad pad rather and it you know I didn't have any issues now went on about my day I did feel it when it came out and that is normal um the next day it, it I put one in well the next night rather put one in and then I got I went to bed <laughs> went to bed did my normal thing I woke up about six o'clock in the morning with sharp burning pains in my yeah you know so i'm like you know <laughs> i'm like wait a wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute so i got up and i went to the restroom and i used the restroom i'm like well, maybe if i you know maybe i need to evacuate my bladder or something that uh i don't know what i thought it was gonna do but i was uncomfortable and it was it was definitely a strong burn so i didn't know it kind of made me nervous. It made me nervous. And if you've seen uh, like one of my very first videos, I talked about the fact that the burning was something that I was very afraid of happening because it's acid, boric acid, right? And of course now I know, you know, that it's it's not like it's a caustic ingredient or something like that. It's actually very good for the pH balance. Um, but to experience that had me nervous. So I really... Not much you can do. It's not like I was going to dush a douche you might say douche because i know that was just gonna push it back push it up in there and probably cause some up and push the douche you don't do that you know just you know. so i was just kind of there laying there thinking man <laughs> this, this burning eventually y'all yeah, went ahead and i fell back to sleep to be honest and then i woke up again probably around nine something that morning and I didn't feel that anymore. I just felt it coming out. You know, like I told you, you can feel it. It's kind of like you on your cycle. You feel it coming out. Um, I could feel it coming out. Um, and by that second day, I was definitely off my cycle too, y'all. So I went to the restroom, wiped, you know, it was clear. Everything looked okay. I didn't have any bleeding. I have seen comments where y'all have left me and said that you, you know, you bleeding behind it and stuff. I definitely was not bleeding. It was just clear, like it usually happens. But I definitely felt that burn that morning. I was definitely, <laughs> I was scared. I was scared. Um, this is actually the next day, and I haven't felt that again i haven't felt that again and i even tried to think you know is it is it could it be some other reason and it it could be i can't say for sure you know i'm not trying to disparage this company but i'm just i can't say it wasn't something else but all i can say is i don't have that pain i'm not used to having that pain before so i don't know <laughs> i don't know but i did just want to share the story with you you know you know let me know in the comments if you have used this if you've used it and if you've done fine let me know if you've used and had a problem let me know is it just me because i just haven't had this i haven't had a feeling like that with any other time that i used it just come in so. and tell you my experience because it did it, it alarmed me it alarmed me um 
that this happened and like I said find out if y'all have had this similar experience so this video here is gonna be one that has a lot of information about Borg as a suppository if you still have questions make sure you check either of these out because they all are jam-packed and I will see you next time if you like this content you like me you want to be my friend subscribe